get it with the cop. I was like, just do a Smith now with the cop in the shot, and then I was in it, I think. So here we are, fresh back from uh, China, crazy China tour, which we took for 10 days with the team. A few setbacks, but everything worked out in the end. So uh, we were all taking a lot of photos, and um, here's a few of the, the photos that I took. Basically, this one is um, it's Hong Kong, uh, the view from my hotel window. A very interesting city, um, you know, and just this, this photo kind of represents to me like how it is there. I mean, it's so populated, and it's so built on top of each other. The air conditioning units hanging off every single window in the city. I kind of like this photo. You can't see anything other than the buildings, but that's what it is. I mean, all those windows and all those people living in that place is pretty crazy. So you know, and it kind of uh, it's a good memory of Hong Kong. Uh, so this this photo was taken in Dongguan. It's not a big city, so it's, it feels like more real rural kind of China. Basically, this is how people get around, whether it be a family of six or one guy with 200 chickens on the back of his bike. So. Yeah, it's really funny to see, I mean, you know, coming from Europe and all the laws and regulations with riding a bike and then you go, go somewhere like uh, Dongguan in China and it's just basically free for all. You ride a motorcycle, you put whatever you want on it. It's just it's very different to see and it's not something you see every day. So I think that's why I like that photo. You know, during the trip, we were there, we were skating every day and um, we, were in the, we were in the city where the, one of the Vans factory is. Um, it's actually the factory where um, Paco and the rest of the team went on the last trip to China to film the intro for the video, uh, 1966 video. And, um, you know, I was kind of bummed that I didn't get to go on that trip. I wasn't able to go on that trip because the guys were going to go to the factory where the shoes are made. But Paco and the guy from the factory arranged that we could go back and have a visit and uh, take the rest of the crew there who hadn't been there also. You know, just take a tour, check out the shoes, check out what they're making and just see the process from the beginning to the end. And, um, you know, you, you wear the shoes, you skate in them, you throw them away or you pass them on to people. And you don't really think of that. I mean, you think, yeah, they've been, they've been made and there's some machines. But, you know, one thing that really stuck in my mind was how hands-on the shoes are. I mean, there must be a hundred people that touch each pair of shoe and do something different on each shoe. And how quite basic and simple some of the, the methods are of making the shoe. So. You know, this photo really says a lot for me as well, where you've got the crazy looking machine with the hot blade and, you know, so, yeah, it's a, it's a great, great photo for me and great memories to go to the actual factory where the shoes are made for. And it, it kind of makes you think differently about the shoes and you wear the shoes, so you kind of think where they've been from. So this is, this is the last photo in the, the, the little series of photos I picked to talk about. And, uh... You know, this was a really sort of amazing experience, a really humbling experience to meet this guy. This guy's name was Mr. Ying. Uh, when the crew went to China before, being in the same city, cruising around, filming things and looking for photos and things like that, interesting things to shoot photos of, and stumbled across this um, this old temple. And um, out of nowhere, this, this guy, you know, this guy you're looking at now, he kind of appeared and 
with, with the communication they can have, pulled out a key and was like, come with me, come with me, I, you know, I want to show you something. He pulled out this old key to a little doorway, opened the doorway and basically opened up into a really old temple, hundreds of years old the, tem the temple was. And was really nice and wanted the guys to take photos and, and go in and have a look. You know, explain that the temple and the old masters of the temple, there's paintings of them. And um, So we went back and we had the video with us. Um, so we wanted to show the guy and also just say hello to the guy again and it was really interesting because to like asking people showing a photo of him trying to find them it was like it was like the search for animal chin you know we met this one woman and she was hey come with me come with me you know from what we could understand and then she actually took us to his house where he was taking a nap and uh, he invited us in and gave us tea he showed us the family tree and everything and um, you know we can ask him questions and stuff because Jay our interpreter was there with us so really got to get a good feeling of the guy and he was such a soulful nice humble old man you know I mean he's 90 years old and he looked so on it and, and just, you know so together and we took photos with him and the next day printed photos and took them back for him and uh, he took us back to the temple and really really proud of his work that he'd done for the temple in the last 50 years yeah, really, really nice experience to meet this guy. For, for Paco and some of the other people especially, like to go back and meet him again and show him what they did. And, you know, it was a great experience. So it's a really, I have a, quite a fond memory of this photo as well. You know, being one of the last days and, and having that little experience was a really, really great ending to, the, uh, to our trip.